Involute of a triangle. In this video, we will see how we can draw an involute of a triangle. Let's first understand what is involute of a triangle means. Suppose there is a triangular shape, and this shape is wound with a rope whose length is equal to the perimeter of the triangle. And if we unwound this rope from the triangle, the path taken by the endpoint of this rope is known as the involute of this triangle. Let's see how we can draw this involute. Here are the instructions to draw. Draw an involute of a triangle of 40 mm sides. Also, draw a tangent and a normal at any point on the curve. First, we need to draw the triangle with 40 mm sides. Take a ruler, draw a horizontal line of length 40 mm, and label the end points of this line as A and B. Take a compass, and adjust it to length AB, and using points A and B, cut arcs as shown. Label this point as C. Using a ruler join this point C, to points A and B with lines. We got the required triangle. We will consider here as the end point of the rope. Label this point as P. To draw an involute, we need to extend a horizontal line whose length will be equal to the perimeter of this triangle. Since one side of this triangle is 40 millimeters, the perimeter will be equal to the sum of all these side lengths. That will be 40 millimeters into 3, which equals 120 millimeters. Take a ruler and draw a line of 120 millimeters in length and label this point as P dash. Next, take a compass and adjust it to length AB. And using this length, cut arcs on this horizontal line, P, P dash. Label these points as 1, 2, and 3. After this, extend these lines BC and CA to some lengths. Initially, point P will be here, when we unwound, point P will reach here on this line. We can see this length will be equal to the length between points 2 and 3. When we unwound the rope further, the endpoint P will reach here on this line. We can see this length will be equal to the length between points 1 and 3. When we unwound the rope further, the endpoint P will reach here, on this horizontal line. To get this curve, you can mark the lengths between points 2, 3, and 1, 3, on these lines, and draw a smooth curve. Or, another simple way is this. Take a compass and adjust it to length AB. And using point A, as a center, draw an arc from point B, up to this line. Label this point as P2 dash. Next, adjust the compass to the length between points C and P2 dash. And using point C as a center draw an arc from point P2 dash, up to this line. Label this point as P3 dash. In the end, adjust the compass to the length between points B and P3 dash. And using point B as the center, draw an arc from point P3 dash, up to this horizontal line. This is the final involute of a triangle. Apart from this, we need to draw a tangent and a normal at any point on this curve. To do so, we will consider a point on this curve, we will draw a tangent and a normal at this point. Using this point as a reference, draw a line up to point B. This line will be normal to the curve. After this, draw a perpendicular line to this normal line, which will be the tangent line. If you like this video, click on the like button and if you are new to my channel ADTW Learn, click on the subscribe button and turn on all notifications to get my all latest videos.